Hello and welcome back. This is going to be the install of the Overt uh, Enterprise uh, virtualization. Uh, basically, it's just the rebranding of Red Hat's uh, Enterprise Linux virtualization, virtualization environment. Uh, we're just going to be installing this on a uh, CentOS 6.5 uh, from the minimal install that we did before. Uh, basically, we're going to be adding some repos, uh, installing the actual product, and then uh, getting it up and running, and then using the um, web interface or the graphic user interface. Um, so let's go through some quick steps here. Uh, basically, we got to change the uh, name or make sure the name's uh, located in the Etsy host file. Um, here's the name of it, uh, IP address. Um, probably should have a fully qualified name uh, as well as the, uh, the short name as well. So let's just go in here and uh, I believe for this next word. SFA LAN MD1 um, All right, so we're done on that part and the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have a static IP address and we have the proper uh, information in the network uh, file as well. So that would be an Etsy sysconfig. And that looks right there with a gateway, which is um, for that network segment. Uh, this will be different on your network, depending on how your networks are set up. And here we have, make sure we have a static IP address, um, as well as a net mask uh, for your site. All that stuff looks good. Um, previously, we did the IP tables, turned off all those, so we don't have to worry about that. We made sure that SC Linux was set up properly there. Um, next thing you want to make sure is you have the, um, the over RPM library. Just command here. Uh, it's already installed, so we're nothing to do. Uh, that's the command line there. And th this will be in the notes as well. And the other thing is the uh, Apple repository as well. And that one's already been installed as well, so we're good there. Um, we're going to just do a quick uh, yum, clean, clean all. Uh, it's just going to clean up all the, uh, the, the repositories here. Uh, looks like everything's clean, everything looks good. Um, so the next point here, what we want to do is uh, update the overt if there's any updates. Just command. So everything looks good there. There's no factors for update. Uh, next thing we want to do is do the uh, called Gluster FS. We're not actually doing a, a Gluster FS install, but uh, the, these packages are actually required for the uh, install of over. And then we'll just do an overall update. If there's anything new, shouldn't be, but uh, we're good there. And I'm just going to list all the repos that we currently have set up just so you can get an idea where we're pulling this information from. And you can see we've got the base, the extra packages, which is Apple, um, the Gluster file system, the overt release, and then the update file. Um, next is to actually install the uh, overt engine. And we're going to do the all-in-one install. As I mentioned previously, I'm trying to keep these videos between five and 10 minutes long. Um, if this seems to be working well for you guys, please let me know, uh, drop a, a comment or uh, send me an email. Um, and 
if they're too short, then I can actually make them longer. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. I know a lot of times I don't like listening to an hour or two of stuff. Uh, I'm also trying to be speeding up the uh, videos as much as possible uh, where, where time can be taken out uh, to make it within that time frame. Uh, so there's going to be 237 packages. Uh, look, there's no errors. Uh, so all it's doing now is going through and downloading these packages to be installed. And once it's uh, done uh, downloading all these packages, it'll go through uh, the install process. And then uh, once it's done installing, it does like a, I believe a cleanup afterwards. And then uh, after that, we'll run the uh, next uh, part, which is basically an engine setup. And then um, we'll have at that point a, a basic uh, over uh, 3.3.2, I believe is the latest version of, of that product. And then uh, we'll go from there and uh, create some VMs and, and, and do some other neat little little things. But uh, just trying to give you a little playlist of what's happening or what's expected and what the goals are. And now it's going into the install part. Uh, looks like the install process is completed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now it's going through the verify. Okay, everything looks good there. Uh, I'm just going to clear the screen and uh, get ready for the, uh, the engine install. Okay, now we're going to go through the overt uh, engine setup, and basically this will install the web interface, all the information, the database on the back end, and uh, make everything you know kind of clean and a nice uh, all-in-one install. And we just type engine setup. And we can see here it actually checks to make sure that the uh, hardware supports virtualization and just goes through a bunch of uh, initial tests and checks and stuff like that. And we do want to configure the VDSM. Uh, local storage domain's fine, uh, name's fine, uh, fully qualified, that, that's fine. It picks that up from that host file. Um, we want to local install the database. Uh, we'll go through an automatic. Here you just put in your password that you want it to be. One more time. Let's do an automatic configuration for that as well. Wondering where the ISOs want to be kept. All looks good. And it's going to be creating the database right now or configuring it. Okay, here we have the execution setup was completed uh, successfully. Um, so we should be all set to go to the next part, which will be the web interface. And uh, that will be coming next. Thank you for your time. And again, you get information. How to do this uh, setup at infobing14.net. Thank you for your time.